Hello viewers, welcome back to the Moose Mobile Auto Repair Channel and today I have a, uh, a 2010 Subaru Outback and it has the 3.6 liter engine and today the customer has requested to me that they wanted to do the, the brakes uh, all around, rotors and pads and the customer has already stated that there is some grinding noise going on and so uh, we are going to have a look at it today and see if they if they need to be uh, replaced now previously i had this vehicle inspected some time ago and uh, i noted to the customer that the slider pins w were seized but they haven't uh, had the bricks done uh, since then so uh, so we are going to have a look at it now so uh, while I was uh, having a look at the brakes I noticed that there's a hole in the, the subframe here hole in the subframe and you see the the CV boot is ripped <laughs> ripped open I found some uh, fluid leaks there are fluid leaks <laughs> leaking. Uh, looks like the oil pan is leaking. Rusted here. Uh, heat shields. So uh, we're just going to remove the caliper bolts here. It's a, a 14 mil. Remove the caliper. Bottom pin is seized here. I'm just replacing all the brakes now. the piston probably have a look at the brake fluid uh, <laughs> level you may need to take some out you can use a C clamp or channel lock on whatever you want to use You can use a coat hanger or a bungee cord and hang it up, hang the caliper up on the strut tower if you want. I'm just going to loosen up the, uh, the bolts, the mounting bolts uh, for the caliper.
careful here. Always do this with caution. I'm going to move the caliper bolts. Now I use the, the BFA hammer. And, and give it a whacking. And let it rest. Just be careful, make sure it's not hot. Make sure you uh, check your parts, make sure the rotors and the pads are the same. <laughs> We're just going to clean the hub and everything and the caliper, clean all the rust off.
some brake cleaner to wash down the area. We're going to clean the rust on the contact points and then we're going to clean here and clean the inside because it was seized. We're going to use one of these cleaning uh, uh, brushes just to clean the inside. Use some brake cleaner. Let's clean the bore. Make sure there's no pieces of dirt or, or metal in the inside. Now we're going to clean the, uh, the caliper bracket and the contact here. I don't need to grind it down to s straight to the bare metal, but as long as you clean the... the uh, the rust off. And also clean underneath here. Any pieces of rust here. We're going to uh, lubricate this with green caliper grease here. You can use uh, silicone grease if you want to, the, the white stuff. These boots are a little <laughs> tricky to, uh, to put on.
put some more grease here. Do the same for the other side here. And these boots are new. They are 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 tricky to uh, to install. I'm just going to take this out again and, and re-lubricate it because we cleaned the inside here and it's all dry in there. Just want to be careful uh, at the very end to make sure you don't put too much grease because sometimes there can be an airlock in here so you'll need to, to pull back on the boot to get rid of the excess grease. I'll show you on uh, on what I mean <laughs> later after I in, in, in install the caliper bracket. So now I'm going to spray some of the disc brake quiet. This uh, prevents noise and, and caliper hopping. So I use it on the backing of the pads. You may need to wait about maybe like like five minutes until it dries up after you're done. So now I'm just going to use the orange uh, stuff here to lubricate the uh, the contact points on the bracket. Uh, usually I don't like to use this on the caliper pins because they they dry up. Just on the on the pads and on the caliper here.
This is the uh, the Permatex uh, silicone c ceramic uh, stuff. We're going to install the the clips. Make sure they are seated in all the way and, and lubricate the clips here. The caliper is uh, is ready to go back on the vehicle. We're going to clean the uh, the bolts. I'm gonna spray some uh, fluid film lubricant on the hub. We're going to, to clean the rotor and some of the coated rotors they tell you to not spray brake cleaner directly on it but um, anyhow uh, you need to make sure that you clean the rotor well on some rotors there may be some r residual oil uh, <laughs> left over from the packaging and the shipment they do that because uh, to prevent the rotors from rusting so you need to use brake cleaner to, to get rid of those oils otherwise it's going to contaminate the the friction material on the brake pads or and install the rotor onto the vehicle. Use a used axle nut if you're able to. And tighten up the uh, the lug nut. We're going to use some uh, copper anti-seize on the bolts. Install the caliper <laughs> bracket. Tighten up the bolts. Not sure on what the torque spec is, but I will uh, uh, put it up for you on the screen. Uh, you just need to get these on uh, just uh, using the German uh, <laughs> method, uh, <laughs> nice and tight. I'll just use like a long wrench to tighten up everything. <clears throat> I 
once you feel the ugga dugga, and then you're all good. So now we are going to install the the brake pads. I'm going to do the inboard pad and to lubricate the the contact points. This uh, this part here, it, it 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 goes at the bottom, the and where the the squealer is. This will go on the outside of the pad. I mean, outside, uh, touching the the bottom of the clip. You have to get this uh, when you put the pads in. Start at the bottom and work to the top. You may have to use a screwdriver to keep the clips uh, in place. This piece here, the spring, is just designed to, to, to push the pads away when the brakes are, are not in use. Anyhow, uh, I'm, go I'm going to put the caliper on and then I'm going to, to clean the rotor down afterwards. So, uh, let me install the caliper. I got some new bolts for these. Right here. Make sure you put a little bit of the NTCs. Reinstall the bolts. Tighten up the caliper bolt. Now uh, you want to make sure everything is moving uh, freely. You want to you want to push the caliper uh, back and forth. Make sure the rotor spins. We're going to wash this down after. So uh, on what I was talking about earlier, what I like to do sometimes, I like to push back on the boot with the a thin screwdriver and squeeze just to get the excess <laughs> lubricant out if there's any because uh, you, you don't want an, an airlock inside here because if, if you do uh, when you go for a road test and you hit the brake pedal uh, the the vehicle could uh, could lean uh, onto one side or swerve onto one side so say that that this is the the caliper in which there's an airlock so when you hit the brake pedal it, the the vehicle will uh, go towards the left when you hit the brakes if it's on the left side the vehicle will go uh, towards the right so you want to make sure that that the there's no excess uh lubricant in here because it, it it will cause an airlock 
Also make sure that when you reinstall the caliper that the brake line is parallel to the caliper and that it's not uh, <laughs> twisted in, in any way, shape or form because if this is twisted and you put the caliper back on and you don't see that, then uh, you, you will have a brake failure. So make sure you watch out for this. And so, uh, so once you're done everything, uh, I'm not gonna show you the other side because it's, it's the same exact thing. But uh, once you're done everything, uh, make sure you don't forget to pump the brake pedal several times until you have a firm brake pedal and then uh, you should be all good to go. Now I'm just going to clean the brake rotor down a little bit with all the grease and stuff. So uh, here's the, the pitted and completely rotted out slider pin. This is uh, one of them. And what happens normally as well is that the rubber boot gets jammed in between here and then you're not able to get it out. Including the rust here. The rust over here. And that's, all, that's also a, a, a contributing factor for the pin uh, getting seized. But this is just because of, of lack of service and, uh, and maintenance. And here's the other one. You see the rubber boot? It got jammed up here. And the rust.